a, a real quick tutorial on how to use your Allen & Heat QU24 or Allen & Heat QU32 on how to set up your faders and be able to move them without showing resistance. If you watch my other tutorial, you will know how to set up your channels. If you watch the tutorial, please subscribe, look at them. You know, I explain a lot of useful information in there. The more, the more important part is how to be able to move the faders without showing resistance. A lot of people tell me, oh man, showing a lot of resistance. So I got the help of a person here that I want to show on my feeding here on his name is Sbin Afla Anderson, okay? So his information was as follow, okay? On your software, I'm using currently cu currently uh, Cubase 9.5.50. I make this project using the 9.5.41. I don't know because I update my software, but it shouldn't, you know, <laughs> show the other one, but it don't matter. The most important part that I want to uh, explain in here is your Mackey control. You have to make sure that each one of them, okay, is set up the proper way. The Mackey control four, it had to say MIDI control one, and so the three on two, the two on three, and the one on four. But the more import, the most important part is that you have to be in each one of them. You have to make sure that it's unchecked. On enable auto select how you get to the screen studio setup okay you go here to studio studio setup and you go to your Mackey control setup okay and here in devices once you uh, have set up this you watch my other tutorials all right but the most important part that he pointed out was that this one had to be on check and then you be able to move all the faders without showing resistance example I have here a project made in machine okay and uh, this project uh, on the faders part, I set up individually channels, how you can see down here on each one of them, it's like a MIDI, okay? So let me play part of that real quick. Okay, so when I move the faders, it should move freely. When I'm doing the, moving the faders, you see, you see? You see how I control all the faders and right now on my mixer, I don't show no resistance. If I would have that check, you will have a lot of resistance and you will have to move individually one by one and still we show you a lot of resistance, almost feel like you're gonna break, okay? So make sure on the studio setup that this mark here is unchecked, okay? So ahora mi parte en español. Tienes que estar seguro que tu Maki Control, cada uno de ellos, pues el Maki Control 4 en el 1, el Maki Control 3 en el 2, el Maki Control 2 en el 3 y el Maki Control 1 en el 4. Si miras mis otros tutoriales, pues tú te puedes fijar que, of course, Tú quieres mover los faders, pero enseñan como si se fueran a partir, como que están bien duros, no los puedes mover. Pues si no tienes esto, tienes que quitarle este checkmark, tienes que quitárselo. Si no se lo quitas, todos los faders van a enseñar resistencia, ¿ok? También tienes que estar seguro en tu audio connections, ¿ok? Que cada uno de ellos diga QU24, porque si dice no conecte, no vas a tener sonido ni nada, tienes que chequear de nuevo mis tutoriales, el control room tiene que estar apagado, recuérdense de eso también, ok so, porque si lo tienes prendido te va a dar mucho problema con el MIDI, ok, en el output solamente necesita one left, one right y también tiene que decir QU24 ok, pero estos inputs tú los seteas aquí con el app bus pero de nuevo tienes que mirar mis otros tutoriales, por favor dale like, click subscribe, si quieren que yo haga más tutoriales de verdad que los puedo ayudar Y gracias, y if you share and you care, well, we share information too, ok? Pero lo más importante es para que no tengas en los fader resistencia en cada uno de ellos, ok? Tienes que estar seguro que en el estudio setup, en cada uno de los Mac y Control, el Enable Audio Select, que no esté con el checkmark, Y, que y el checkmark se lo tienes que quitar prácticamente, ¿ok? Pues espero que este tutorial le haya ayudado mucho. 
Y si quieren más tutoriales, pues me dicen, me escriben, click, like, subscribe. Y le quiero dar un shout out de nuevo a Steve, a Steve Love, ¿ok? Tremendo muchacho, ¿ok? Thank you.